In 2015, people from all parts of the world went to New Orleans, Louisiana to celebrate the world's biggest pagan festival, Mardi Gras. The Lord Jesus Christ sent two witnesses, John McGlone and Joseph Lilly to call men to repentance, to turn from their sin and trust in Jesus. Now, a very special feature presentation. Not of This World Production presents God hates Mardi Gras. Any man that is in Christ is a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. But you have to be in Christ, sir, following the Lord Jesus. Right now, you're not a new creature. No, you're not, sir. You're on this filthy, wicked street following after following after the desires of your own heart. All the hearts deceptively wicked. Wickedness, wickedness, wickedness. Out here, we got a spirit of Jezebel over this nation. You Jezebel women that are out here seducing, enticing men into your trap, into your web. You need to repent. Repent for your wickedness. Repent for your Jezebel spirit. You got a spirit of sodomy over this nation, homosexuality. You got a spirit of perversion. And here it is, the epitome of, the epitome of all those three things converging right here during this filthy festival of wickedness, debauchery, revelry, pornography, sodomy, Jezebelian rebellion. That's what this is. Right here, you Jezebels need to repent. Believe the gospel. You hell Satan every day when you wake up and, and serve yourself and put yourself on the throne. You have no fear of God, young lady. You're serving your father, the devil, and you love it. You love it, you can't get enough of it. You drink sin by the cup, iniquity by the cup. You eat the bread of wickedness and drink violence by the cup. Choose and stay who you're going to serve. Are you going to serve God or are you going to serve the devil? Oh, sinners in the city of Hillary King, swimming in a river of sin, all with Jesus Christ. He died for you. And if you don't accept Jesus Christ as your Savior, take up your cross and follow after Him, you're going to be judged in your sins and you're going to spend eternity in a lake of fire. It goes on forever and ever and ever, and it never stops. Think about all the people you've known without Jesus Christ that have died in their sin. You know where they're at right now? I don't care if the preacher tried to preach them into heaven. They're in eternal torment. They're in eternal fire. There's no exit in hell. There's no exit in hell. And God desires that none should perish, but all may come to repentance and fall after him. Oh, you're going to meet your maker one day, sir, and you're going to stand before him, and you're not going to be able to say anything. Oh, it's going to be a fearful and frightful day on judgment day for most. The Bible says, enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the road and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And those who find it are many. Narrow is the way and constricted is the path that leads to life. And those who find it are few. Oh, you're on a broad road right now. You're on your way to a devil's hell. You're going to burn in hell if you don't repent. Turn and believe the gospel. Sodomy is sin. You need to repent for your sodomy. Homosexuals, no, will not inherit the kingdom of God. No lesbians will inherit the kingdom of God. No drunkards will inherit the kingdom of God. No thieves, no lies, no murders will inherit the kingdom of God. Only the holy, only the saints, only the followers of Jesus Christ will enter into his kingdom. There's not going to be any sin in heaven. No sinners in heaven. Today is the day of salvation. Choose to stay who you're going to serve. Are you going to serve God? Are you going to serve the devil? You're following after your father, the devil, and the works of your father, what you will do. He was a liar from the beginning. And those of you who are professing Christ, you're professing Christ, some of you out here. And Jesus says this. He says, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not do the things that I ask you? Lord, you hypocrites, says, he who sins is a slave to sin. 
You're a slave, that means you have a master. That means your master is the God of this world. The God of this world is the devil. The God of this world is blind in the minds of those who don't believe. You're of your father, the devil. You're not going to be a victim on Judgment Day. You might have had a hard life. There's no telling how you were raised up. But when you're standing on Judgment Day, standing before God, and you're not right with God, you can't say, I didn't know. God, I had a hard life. You know what? Jesus had a hard life. Jesus had a hard life. He was rejected. He was beaten. He was spit upon. For your sins, he was innocent. He died for my sins. And he came to set the captives free. He came to set you free. He came to deliver you from the works of the devil. Choose and stay who you're going to serve. Amen, brother. <laughs> Amen. You're in big trouble with Jesus. He's going to judge you. Wake up! Get born again! Jesus Christ said you must be born again of the Holy Spirit. Free American citizens! Free American citizens! Free American citizens! What are you talking about? Free American people, man! Free American people from Texas, motherfucker! Free American people, man! Free American! Free white American people! Free black Jesus American said, people. Pay your taxes. Free Puerto Rico American people. Jesus free said, American motherfuckers, taxes. man. Free Jesus us, bitches. Free American people. Free American taxpaying motherfuckers, man. That's us, man. Free American people. You're in bondage to your sins, We are in bondage to You're fucking Mexico, trouble. motherfucker. You're, You're in bondage to Cuba. You're in bondage to ISIS. You're in bondage to, 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 to all kinds of motherfuckers. We're free, free, free American people. Free United Camp, man. Free tax paying motherfuckers. You're a filthy mouth, potty mouth sinner on your way to hell. And you're a jack off. You're a jack off. God bless you. Jack no, off. I don't matter. Jack off, no, 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 sinner. I don't you're matter jack off, anymore. You're a jack off. No, sinner. I don't matter. You're a jack off. No, sinner. I don't matter. No, you're a jack off. No, sinner. I don't matter. Yes. I used to be that See, all the time. I used to be just free like you. Free American people, man. Filthy, nasty free pervert. people that pay they taxes. Filthy, nasty free pervert. people that pay like taxes. You. You're in big trouble, man. <laughs> trouble to go to hell. Don't you, you know that? Tape on your shoe? What about the tape on my tape shoe? On shoe man. I like it. <laughs> I think it's nice decoration. It's covering the hole in my shoe. What problem do you have with that, pal? Go to Walmart. You go need to hush your mouth and listen to God. You filthy mouth sinner. Go to Walmart and pay another $5 in taxes. Go to Walmart and pay your taxes, guys. Go to Walmart and replace your shoes your heart. Your filthy mouth Because you can't afford to go to Walmart. 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 Because this guy can't no, afford to go to Walmart. This guy can't afford to How will you escape if you do like so great salvation? I got to take the How will you escape, friend? You're in big trouble with God. You're in big trouble. How come God is out of the truck dealers? You're in big trouble with the hell, man. You're in big trouble with hell. I mean, how come God is louder than the truck dealers? What's that? How come God is louder than the drug dealers? You're a drug dealer? Maybe. Maybe. Yes or no? Which is it? <laughs> you're a liar too, aren't you? And who are you? What are you? You're. you're I tell the truth. Man. Why do you hate me? Because I tell you the truth man. about you. This guy's a Why truth do you man. hate me? Because I tell you the truth about you. You got you got tape on your shoes, man. You so can't afford what? to pay Walmart an extra five I'm bucks in taxes to, my money to for replace your, soul. your shoes, dude. I'm trying to conserve my money for your soul. No, you're trying to conserve money because you can't pay taxes. I pay my taxes. What? I obey Jesus. What? Jesus said, render unto Caesar what is Caesar. But Jesus said, pay American, your taxes. I pay taxes. Obey your government, hey, hey, what listen. God said. Hey, hey, God. hey, listen. I don't hear hey, you. Hey, you listen. Hush your mouth. No, you no, you Repent or no, you perish. Repent or perish. You're going to hell, man. Drunkards will not inherit the kingdom of God. Liars will not inherit the kingdom of God. That's the way it is. I tell you, go fuck Jesus, yourself, no, one. God bless you. Jesus died on the cross for you, man. No, he Jesus shed his blood for, for your me, sin. Man. He sure did. No, the fuck you he did. No, the fuck he, he did, no, motherfucker. He did. No, the fuck he did. He did. God bless you, sinner. He sure did. Oh, he loved you. Country, he he like suffered for you. Like he you suffered live, for you on the cross. So like you he live. died for so you on the cross. He died for you. You need to surrender. Surrender to Jesus. Surrender to Jesus. Surrender to Jesus. Surrender. 
fight. So you got to push so the ball. So the Surrender to Jesus. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you. So you got to push the ball. So you got to push the ball. So you got to push the ball. No. So you got to push the ball. I take care of myself. Sorry. You're paying for your own. You just said. You just said. Don't pay taxes. You just said. You just said. Don't pay your taxes. You just said it. You just out here said. Don't pay taxes. You're a liar. You live off my tax money. 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 I'm staying on all your way. You think people will be seeing this and they will think that's preaching? Why don't you stop that man? Stop you are in big trouble with God. You're in big trouble with God. You're a filthy sinner. Okay. You ain't nothing but a security, so security and be piece of That your sins might be blotted yeah, out. Yeah, my sins. That you might be washed clean, sinner. That you might be washed clean by the blood of Christ. Oh, hallelujah. I used to be just like you. What are you going to get a dollar? A murderer at heart. You ain't worth You're a murderer at heart. God bless you. God bless you in Jesus' name. God bless you in Jesus' name. God bless you in Jesus' name.
ownership because I agree. Yes, the strip you have is not the strip. Many other churches in the past have. When you look, when you guys are going to lie, the spirit, you can feel the strip. Not many, of you, not many of you guys minister with us. You minister with us. And you're not going to hide it. And you know that's what I mean. That's what I mean. Right. Righteous are as bold as lions. Yeah. Amen. Where are you from, man? Florida. 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 Florida.
That's where darkness is going to death. Spiritual death. Spiritual death is separation from God. So very important. Make sure we get these things straight in our mind and heart. We wake up the morning, Lord Jesus, help me. We've got to get through this day. Lord, help me. And then all the days add up to weeks, months, years. And then we abide in Christ all the way to the end. He who endures the end shall be saved. Amen. So we want that for you. Of course, we care about you.
It's uh, 419. He's going to touch it. 419. Yeah, my, wa no, my watch is fast because oh, I didn't reset it. We're not going to hit the kingdom of God. We've got a couple hours yet. The Bible says uh, probably want to leave about 530. Well, we were going to go ahead and leave now. We were going to go ahead and leave. From Atlanta. I'm the head of witness for the Lord. I'm from Atlanta. Oh, awesome. Steve Pooch, Reverend Jones. Oh, so where y'all based at? Well, I actually went from all over. John's here's from Kentucky. Yeah, Joe is from Baton Rouge. Okay. I'm from Texas. We got some people here from California, and yeah. Texas, and Florida. Well, I'm from oh, we, come from, we come from Atlanta. Okay, you know, cool. So I got some Bibles to give away. Y'all got extra tracks out this fast. I got oh, some okay. extra tracks. Yeah, keep Reach up. back in there and pull you out some extra tracks. Good work. All right. God bless you. I'm driving to New York City. Okay, that's a good idea, brother. You text me the address. Okay. And we'll try to get there at 6. Okay. Sounds good. All right.
God. Even God, God can be almighty. I know he created the earth, God created the people, almighty. created everything. But why should I be scared of him if he don't save my life? I should repent and I should love him for doing what he did for me on the cross in the beginning. What is your name? I've, I've read the Bible 20 times. Why is your name? Well, my name is Tori. Tori, you didn't get it the first time. Oh, I got the second time. You didn't time. get it the 20th time either. You still don't have it. All I you say, got the Bible. All, all I say is marijuana should be legalized. Watch yourself, Tori. How did you hit by a truck? It's burning. It smells something burning. Focus, John. I was like, I'm trying to focus, bro, but he's all over the place. <laughs> he's like popcorn, man. You got popcorn. Yeah, I'm kind of fucked up. I won't, I won't deny it. Okay, well, I'm going to say it's Mardi, it's, Mardi it's Mardi Gras. I know it's a Catholic thing, too. Just found that out. But it's Mardi Gras. Why not get drunk and smoke weed? Because God hates it, that's why. Then why is he not allow us to do it? Because we are free he people and free will. will. Free will for the choice. He gives you free will to obey him, too. You're not doing that. That's the problem. See, you don't love God. It's not that God hasn't loved you at the cross. He did. But you don't esteem that love, and you esteem your sin more than you esteem what God has told you to do. So you don't respect his authority. You're on your way to hell. Can I say the most honest? No, I'm not done. Let me finish, Tori. Let me finish, Tori. Let me finish. So on Judgment Day, he will exercise his authority over you and cast you into hell. You've been warned. That paper has all kinds of warnings on it. You need to heed the warning. Flee the wrath of God to come. That's all there is to it. All I got to say, hold on. I got a question. My name is Troy. I got a question. What's your name? Troy, you're Troy? Yeah, I'm Troy. I got a question. John. Are you perfect? Jesus said, be you there. Are you perfect? What, what is perfect. your sin? What do you do? What do you do? No, tell me, what do you do? What is your sin? What do you do? The cigarettes, lying, cheating. No, oh, but what do you do now? Do I get the answer? You're not giving me a chance to answer. Okay. So if I sin, and I not telling you, you're not giving me a chance to answer. Okay. So if I sin, and I'm not sinning, if I sin, you're not listening. If I sinned, I have an advocate the Father Christ Jesus. You don't have him. If I sin, but I haven't sinned today. I haven't sinned yesterday, the day before, probably. Yes, you, have. Uh, you just did right there, you lied. God bless everybody. No, I tell you the truth. Why do you hate me? Because I tell you the truth. You want your sin. That's the problem, Troy. You want to keep your sin and go to heaven. Jude, <laughs> verses 14 and 15. Behold, the Lord comes with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment on all, to convict all who are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds and all the harsh things that ungodly sinners have spoken against God. We'll try it one more time. June, verse 14 and 15. Behold! The Lord comes with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment on all, to convict all who are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds and all the harsh things that ungodly sinners have spoken of God. Is he like God? Do I like God? That's about a foolish question, isn't it? I'm promoting Jesus. I'm preaching Christ and then crucified. I don't shake hands with sinners. You're an enemy of God. You need to repent. You need to repent or you're going to hey, perish. Hey, Logan! Logan! Turn from your Logan. sin. Turn from your wickedness. We're actually enemies of God. Lord. Realize. I didn't get it that right. You're an enemy of God. God is Every dead. Get the fuck over it, buddy. Only the saints of God will go in. Behold, the Lamb comes. Behold, the Lord comes with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment on all. To execute judgment on you. Of all their ungodly deeds. That's you. Look what you're doing. All who are ungodly among them. Oh, keep your hands off of him. You have no right to sexually assault him. You're a pervert. You're a coward for signs. Repent. If you believe that, what do you do? Oh, the Lord comes. What do you do? What do you do? Jesus, you have no courage. Ungodly sinners God. have spoken against him. No, it's not God. You guys don't ever release the filthy. 
No, I'm here to You're get here being a hypocrite. That's what you well, are. I, no, I would like to get uh, No, I don't do theological arguments with the drunkards. Don't I don't do theological you don't arguments with drunkards. Rational Sorry. I'm here to preach to all you. <laughs> Trouble with God. What's your God is coming to judge drunkards. My opinion doesn't matter at all. Homosexuals go to hell. Do not be deceived. First Corinthians six, nine, and ten. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor drunkards, nor revelers, nor thieves, nor covetous. Shush! I'm still speaking it. Nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. So, so you, if you're a homosexual, if you don't stop it and repent and trust Jesus, you're on your way to hell. But even if you stop Windham all your stuff sin, too, sir, you stop all your homosexual activity, even if you did that, it still wouldn't make you clean before a holy God because you need the blood of Jesus shed abroad for your sin. You need to confess your sin to Christ and be born again of the Holy Spirit. Come 
What are we saying? I don't know. Party Grand! Party Grand! Party Grand! Oh, party Grand! Party Grand! That's okay, Omar. No, no, no. I swear to God, sir. I really had to say I'm special to someone in Africa. I just moved to America two months ago. I don't know like what y'all believe in. And I swear to God, I just wanted to get some clarification from him. But he just made me look like a motherfucking slobber. I know you got your camera on me right now. I mean, I'm just trying to say, I really was trying to get some clarification. All right, sure. Okay, wait, no, look, Omar, you, you're, you're obviously intoxicated. I'm not intoxicated. You got a wild eye look in your eyes. So really, I don't want to, re you can't reason right now. I've been, I've been how you are, and I don't, I'd rather you calm down, maybe come back five, ten minutes, and I'll talk to you. All right. Can, can I get me a sir? No. I'm going to fuck your boy up if you don't get some suck. We're about to have threesome. Can we have a threesome? Three. Can we have a threesome? Three. It's your birthday. 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 Okay, we're uh, here at uh, almost Fat Monday. Next to last day, tomorrow's Fat Tuesday. Going back out here to preach to these heathen people about their drunkenness and filthiness. See that behind us, Bourbon Street behind us? Crazy. All right, it's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, we'll see you on the update. Bye bye now. Jesus. You are disobedient children, rebels, transgressors. Lawbreakers, you are an enemy to a righteous God. You are an enemy of the living God. The Bible says, the Bible says, it is a fearful thing to fall in the hands of a living God. God is angry with the wicked every day. God hates all workers of iniquity. The wages of your sin is death. You sow unto iniquity. You will reap destruction. Sow in mercy and you will reap in peace. But you are workers of iniquity, young lady. Revelers, partyers, will not inherit the kingdom of God. Sodomites, homosexuals, adulterers, will not inherit the kingdom of God. Only born again believers and followers of Jesus Christ will inherit the kingdom of God. And you are not following Jesus Christ today. You are following your father, the devil. Let's go, devil! This man's got a question. Blasphemers have their part in the lake of fire. Look her right in the pussy! Happy Monday, bro! Happy I've been free from sin! Hallelujah, hallelujah! Jesus Christ set me free, sir! I've been free from sin! I no longer a slave to sin! Oh, a sinner in a city of ill repute! You can be free from your sin too, sir! I am talking to you! You're a blasphemer! You need to repent! Turn from your sin! Take the beads off! Get off this street! Pervert! Repent! The kingdom of God is at hand! The kingdom of God is at hand! You confess your sins, Jesus Christ.
will not inherit the kingdom of God, neither fornicator, drunkard, reveler, and reveler means partier, and it gives a list of other sinners, and it says these people will not inherit the Wait, kingdom but of God. Wait, but isn't it, isn't it, you don't oh, think that your all-righteous God will like... He's your all-righteous God, no, too. Wait, 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 wouldn't, he be, wouldn't he be angry for making you so negative about other people who enjoy themselves? Because surely we're God wants us to enjoy ourselves. Well, we're trying My to warn you. More the opposite. Trying to warn like, why would our, why would our all-righteous God do things to people in the afterlife that we won't even do to people on this planet? So, like, I think he has a sense of forgiveness and a sense of, like, yeah, go, go people are myself. their own people. And I'm not trying to argue. Like, I know, I'm not trying to sway your beliefs because I know you feel how you feel. And, like, those are your values and I respect you sticking to them. But at the same time, like, why? I don't think you're, I don't think anyone's God would want them to, like, judge others and condemn others. I, I just, like, I feel personally that, like, anybody's belief system and anybody's God is going to want them to, like, want the best for everybody that deserves the best. You, you, I, you, or I say you get what you're saying, that's probably wrong. You kind of understand what I'm trying to get at from my perspective. Okay, well you, you mentioned a lot of things there. I, I'm sorry, I'm, if you feel like I'm bitching, I'm sorry. I was just trying to express. You mentioned, oh, mention, sorry, okay, you, yeah. You said a lot of things, so I'm going to try to address the okay, first okay. thing that you said. And you said... Uh, how can a forgiving God do something to someone that we wouldn't even do to people here on earth? Okay, uh, do you believe that Hitler was a, was a bad man? I think Hitler committed a gap. I think Hitler committed an act against humanity. And I think, like, crimes against humanity, like, yes, it was targeted at Jews. So many other people were killed as, in the path of the way. That's a I simple think yes or no question. Sorry, do I think Hitler was a bad person? Yeah. yeah I'm sorry, I'm Jewish, yes. Okay. My whole family was killed in the Holocaust, yes. Do you, do you okay, but I tried I'm, going, I'm going to the bathroom, so like... Next. Okay, do you, do you believe in, there's a, do you believe in God? Hey, no, no. But I respect people who have the faith, too. Okay, so Hitler, Hitler's not in hell. Hitler is in hell. I don't believe in hell or heaven, so like, I just kind of believe in the sense that like, when you're gone, you're gone. I wish it was the other way, but like... So you can basically just do what you want to do then? No, I disagree. I disagree. I think, I think more important than like, the moral afterlife is moral living with yourself. You have to survive. Like, According you have to, to whose standard? Yourself. So you make your own standards? I want to say yes, but the truth is, like, not everybody can make the right standards. So the serial killer that killed 38 people... That's why I'm people, saying that's wrong. What if that, what, 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 who are you to say it's wrong? I'm no one special. If we all, if no we all special. make our own standard, who's to say the serial killer okay, is wrong? Okay, so I misspoke when I said we all make our own standard. It's just... I don't know. 
I just don't think that there's one in, like identifiable like being or person or spirit or anything that could make our own standard. Like own standard was the wrong term. I don't know what the right way to say it would be, but like what, I, what I'm trying to get to is moral absolutes. Some things always have to be right, and some things always have to be wrong. Now, would you agree that it would always be wrong for him to take you on the side of a building, rape you, then kill you? That would always be wrong, right? To, like, do me against my will and then to, like, slaughter me up? That would always be wrong and vice versa if I were to be twice his size and take advantage. I'm sorry, I hate when people say that the guy is in... I'm so, sorry, I'm big for okay, women so to equal rights. What, what I'm like, trying to say is that versa, same way. a moral standard has to be made. Yep. And moral standards can't come from me because my standard might differ from your standard. So a standard, a moral standard has to come from the one that created everyone through truth. There has to be a moral absolute truth. God is that moral absolute truth, not man. So we can't say that standards come from men because people's standards are different. So saying that there is a God, Hitler who killed many, many people, when he stands before God, would he be condemned to heaven or hell for his crime? He would go to hell and hell existed. He would go to hell. If, if we were following all those that, standards, that he would be a, fucking burn it out. That would be a just God. thing for a righteous, holy God to do, would be to send Hitler to hell. And that's what he's going to do to all unrepentant sinners. Like, because God is eternal, that means his judgment is eternal. Her question was, why would God judge someone so harshly? And I'm trying to show you that since God is eternal, his judgment is eternal. Your spirit is eternal. When you die, you're going to go to two places, heaven or hell, according to God's standard. If you've broken any of his laws, okay, have you ever told a lie? You told a lie. Um, I don't know if there's like a, a date that you can like caught it before. Like I'm big on honesty. That's my personal like main core value. It's the most flat. In, in the sense that like only smart people know when to lie. What's your name? Ivy. Ivy? Yes. What'd you say? Yes, it's close enough. It's very close. Have you ever told a lie? Of course I've told a lie. Do I like to lie? No. What do you call someone who tells a lie? Um, a liar. liar. Have you ever stole anything regardless of value? Yep. I have never Piece left of paper, him. pencil. Actually, no, because I'm always prepared. Boy Scouts. Well, you just said that you lie. You're a liar, so how am because I going to believe you about back in the day, okay, everything that I've ever lied for, I have come forth for. Okay, have you ever, have you ever... <laughs> Looked at. Hey, I just think lying is a freaking joke, a freaking waste of time. Have you ever taken I'm God? I'm having too much fun. It's freaking Have you ever taken God's name in vain to express disgust? Yes, for I have. Yes. That's called and blasphemy, and God takes it very seriously. So are you saying that I'm on the same level as Hitler because I said God's name in vain and he he killed six mount six million Jews and like three million or six million have other you ever others? Slept with another man's uh, wife's yes. husband. No. I have never been the other one. Have you ever fornicated? Fornicated? Does that mean like done it or like done it outside of doing it? Outside of marriage. It? Yes, I have. That's called fornication. You're okay, right. And so I, I deserve I, to go to hell in the no, sense I, that like, people kill From your a lot own profession, you're a lying. Yes. Fornicating. Yes. And blaspheming. I'm okay with it. So you broke three of God's okay. Ten Commandments. You know what? So when you stand before God, when you stand before God on Judgment Day, and he, and he sees, that's who he's going to see. He's not going to see who you profess to be. He's going to see a liar, he's going to see a, a fornicating, filthy mouth woman. That's fine. Can and, I tell you and, why and, I'm okay with that? Because you, the first question you asked me was about honesty, and I'm not trying to pretend to be anybody I'm not. And if, as long as he sees me for who I truly the am, I don't give a fuck. The only way, Ivy, that you can be forgiven for your sins is by the shed blood of Jesus Christ. He's the only way. You can't say his name in vain. Oh. And say his name in vain. He had just, he did. He did. He had just oh. said his name in vain. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, can I just like, express my opinion? I respect what you have going. I respect you believing what you believe. My biggest thing is like, 
Do you no, want you no, to? No, 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 hold on, hold on. We're You're not, not letting here. me I'm finish. Not, I'm not here to get your respect. Oh, no, no, I'm not. I don't think okay. you are. I just want to I'm tell you my opinion. I'm here to let you know, Ivy. That you're in big trouble with God. That's okay. We're kind God of is my not happy with you. You're t you already told me no, your opinion, and I No, you're trying to justify to you your behavior. You need to get right with God, Ivy. Uh, I agree. Sure. Jesus Christ loved you so much, he died on a cross for you. Right, but I'm trying to, like, you're interrupting, and I just want to tell you what I think, and then you can tell me, keep going. You already told me what you think. I just think that we should all respect each other. That's all that really matters. You need to quit being a seductress woman. I don't think I'm seducing woman. anyone. I heard the way you were talking to this man here. I said hello. You guys were having filthy conversation. Filthy we just done a hundred. Wait, wait, wait. We could have filthy conversation. We have not had filthy conversation. Have, you need to have your conscience clean. You're right. And the only way you can is through Jesus Christ. I don't even know what to do. Let's hang out with you. According to what to what he says, and so you have a Bible. Yeah, yes. we have a Bible. Do you study your Bible? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we How many Proverbs are you reading? Well, that's good. Do you read the New Testament at all? A little bit. A little revelation. There, there's a lot of stuff in the New Testament. I encourage you. Only got that much of a Bible that thick. You only got that much New Testament. Jesus gave a lot of teachings in there. I'll give you an example. He said, be holy as I am holy. Hallelujah. That's serious. And so if Jesus said, stop lying because I'm holy, if you're my master, I'm going to obey you, right? Amen. So I, I don't, this is what I used to do. I'll tell you what I used to be. I used to be a drunk. I used to be a whoremonger. I used to be a liar, a thief, a murderer. Yeah. Adulterer, I abandoned my family. I did a lot of bad things, man. But 18 years ago, yes, the Holy Spirit, whew, He shined all the darkness in my house. It revealed oh, hey, all this stuff. You spoke about some truth there. Oh, I've done the same thing. I, I did a lot of time to pay attention, man. I, 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 I yeah. did time for murder. Right. My daughter's she's with my child's child. mother. Had a time. 18 years ago, Jesus came and changed me by the Holy Spirit. And, but there was conviction about eight months. I, I knew I was doing wrong. I kept telling the Holy Spirit, no, I can't do that. I can't stop doing that. Wow. But Jesus said, if you love me, obey my commandments. Amen. But you can't know his commandments if you don't read his word. If you don't seek his Holy Spirit every day. You, you, we all like sheep could go astray, right? right? The devils want to come along and attack you and lead you astray. So I just really exhort you to, to look at those cards we gave you. Okay? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you have email or not, but if you do have email, you can no, contact me by that. Okay? You, can, you got questions or something? Seek the Lord Jesus, man. Are you born again of the Holy Spirit? Yes. Are you still living in sin? No. Well, a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, I am. I'm, okay, I'm, let's, I'm talk, let's talk about that for a second, right. okay? Sin is a transgression of the law. Only take a minute. You want to watch your stuff? Yeah, we'll watch it. Yeah. We got it. We got it. Here's the thing. The law condemns. The law of God condemns, but it points out our sin. And in 1 John chapter 3, verse 4 says, sin is a breaking of God's law. It makes us all criminals before a holy God. We're all criminals, man. 
Now, I'm a former criminal who was pardoned 18 years ago. Now, I don't want to offend the judge anymore, right? I want to stop offending the judge and his law. Because the law is good. Jesus said the law is good. Is that he came to fulfill the law. Nothing wrong with the law. The law is good, perfect. But the law condemns. Now, mercy is given through Christ. And so what you have to do, like I did, I had to cry out to him, and I had to confess straight to him in my spirit, in my mind, my heart. You have a spirit. Yes. Your soul, you know what your spirit is. So that spirit has to seek him. Jesus said, draw near to me, and I'll draw near to you. Wow. Just like we drew near to you guys, right? So, oh, well, check this out. Dude, I want to find out what these guys are about. What's going on here? So, so the Holy Spirit draws near to you if you're willing to draw near to him. So I exhort you, open the New Testament. Amen. Look through it. Lord, what does this mean? Before you ever try to read anything in the Bible, Lord, your Mark. spirits go and talk to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, show me what this means. And then as you seek Him, you'll realize you're condemned without Christ. You say, Lord, please forgive me. And if you're a backslider, if you were born again properly in the first place, I don't know if you were or not, I don't know if you were. Yeah, yeah. But you had an experience with God. Right? You believed Him, you trusted Him. You obeyed him from the heart to obey him. He takes care of me every day. He says, ask and you shall receive. Can you find it in your heart? We, 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 my daughter, my daughter's name is Christian. Okay. Hang on, hang on. I'm serious. That's God. TJ, right? Yeah. Christian. Yeah. Christian. Will. We got a bad guy. When he's mad, we're hungry. I'm being serious. I'm willing to feed you. I can feed you. Please. I want to feed you, and then I want to feed you God's work. All right. Is that fair? Yes. You pack up your stuff, come with us with money. Cool. I can't give you money. I have to give my Christian faith. That's cool. So I'll feed you. But the first thing, I, when I feed you natural food, right. you have to be willing to receive some spiritual food. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm being honest with you. I'm trying to make it. Yeah. I understand being honest. But I, I can't give you money. Oh, well, that's what I'm being honest with. But, but I'm God willing to feed honest. you. I appreciate it. Jesus said, go and feed the least of me. So if, if you need food, I've been there, man. I've been homeless. I've been without food. I, I'm not saying you're homeless. I'm telling you, I know what it's like to be hungry. And I want to feed you. Okay? I want to feed you. So you have to pack your stuff up and follow me. We're, we're just heading down to go eat now. So. All right. Yeah? It's, cool. I mean, <laughs> something to drink, something to eat, right? Yeah, we're going to take a Hard to refuse that. It's good. Yeah, it's good. All right, the names again. All right. Tebow. 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 Rico. No, That's your real name? Rico, can I give you what's your real name? My real name is Joseph. Joseph. Yeah, good name. That's my name, brother. Can I call you Joseph. This is my friend yeah. Joseph Gregory Baird. My daughter's name is Christian. Where's your daughter? Elizabeth Baird. She's daughter? in uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. God sought for a man whose heart was after him, and still today his eyes run to him. Holy is a heart that is perfect towards him. Will you be that one that God will choose? Will you be the one that he can use? A vessel of honor that he can pour his life through. Shut in with God Where are the men Who will speak when no one will Who will be faithful unto Jesus When there's nothing in it for them Where are the men? This is Tokenland, brother.
equal. I didn't Yet say you're not equal. Yet some of us have tokens and some of us don't. I didn't say you're not equal. Hey, my mother can't work. She has no you're legs, no legs, and she's a mute. You're telling me she's a burn in hell? That's not what I said. I'm talking about you, sir. You're able-bodied. What's wrong with you I working? I served in the military. I protected you. What's wrong with you working? <laughs> I worked all my life. I still work. What, the, what are you doing down here, then? I'm enjoying myself. It's time you to have fun. You said you have no tokens. It's time to have fun. If you work, you'd have some tokens, I right? have lots of tokens, but that's okay. none of your business. <laughs> I didn't say it was. But if you're not working, if you're a sluggard, that's who I'm talking to, you seem to be offended at the word sluggard. If you're a sluggard and you're not working, when God has commanded all mankind to work for their food, not to panhandle their food, but to work for it. And I often find this, sir, though I'm not saying this is you, I often find this, many panhandlers and many people who are not working could work, but they choose to drink. They could work, but they choose to do meth. And so they rob and steal and destroy? Nobody loves their job. We go to work because we want access to the necessities of life. We want water, food, and shelter, not because we love our jobs. We go to work because we have to. Thank That's you. That's not true. I love my job. Oh, please, your job. This is, <laughs> yeah, I love my job. Actually, I have three jobs. My first job is this job. I'm no about one my father's should have to business, for access to the preaching of life. the truth all human of Jesus Christ. deserve to live their life to the highest potential. We all deserve to live our life to the highest potential and be educated to the highest potential. Thank you. No matter if you work or not, we deserve that. Well, it action. takes work if you want to get educated, sir. Work. Yes, Please. work. It's called You're school so work funny. for a reason. Hello. So funny. Time to engage your mind. It's called school work for a reason. Engage Hello. your mind. Time engage to engage your cranium. Heart. Let's go. Have compassion for human suffering. Some people can't work, brother. These you people suffer here by your choice or you suffer by necessity? I what? do not suffer. What is it you can't do? I can do it just about anything. I'm a human Okay, go to work then. Go find a job. I work, hey, brother. Jesus never used a loudspeaker. He just talked to people. Yeah, fuck thank you. you. Jesus God bless never you, used a loudspeaker. No, what Bible hey, verse no, is that? I'm not a sinner. I believe in Jesus. What Bible? Do you Get obey off the loudspeaker. Get off the loudspeaker. Go talk Jesus. to somebody. Do you go obey talk to Jesus. somebody. Do you answer head. my question? Do you obey Jesus? Passion, motherfucker. You don't obey Jesus. You got Fuck a filthy you mouth. Yeah. You're a filthy Fuck mouth. You. God bless you. I don't want you to go to hell, man. Get off God the loudspeaker. The hatred in your heart reveals you are on your way to hell. Wow. The hatred in your heart reveals you're on your way. But I, we don't want any of you people to go to hell. We don't want the sluggard to go to hell. We don't want the prostitute to go to hell. We don't want the drunkard to go to hell. We don't want the liar to go to hell. We don't want the thief to go to hell. We don't want the adulterer to go to hell. We don't want the fornicator to go to hell. The offer, the free gift, the offer of freedom in Christ. Most of you are rejecting the free offer of forgiveness. None of us deserve it. And God is offering it to each one of you. And unfortunately, most of you are rejecting it. And that is a serious problem with God. God's not going to put up with your disobedience. He's not going to put up with your hatred towards God. Every single sinner hates God. That's the way it is. The Bible says, if you love God, you'll keep his commandments. For this is man's all, for God will bring every work to the judgment. Fear God and we keep his commandments. Hear the music. For this is man's all, for God will bring every work into judgment, including every secret thing, whether it be good or evil. Yes. All these secret orders, all these secret orders, these Masonic orders, these Knights of Columbus, all these different Lions Clubs, all these secret orders, all these fraternal orders that you take your oaths to, you're going to give an account to Jesus Christ for all the filthy things that you're doing inside those, those uh, fraternal orders. So God has an order. God's order is to obey him as a king. He is the great high king. Every king 
will bow down to my king. My king is the creator of the universe. Jesus Christ is Lord of lords and king of kings. Hallelujah. Consider friend if you do that, then God will conceive to forgive you. And God will send his Holy Spirit, hallelujah, he'll send his Holy Spirit to inhabit a brand new believer. And then you'll know by the Holy Spirit that the Father is pleased and all heaven rejoices, hallelujah, when one sinner repents, when one sinner turns away from that which offends God. As long as you keep sucking your sin, loudmouth woman, as long as you keep sucking up your sin, acting like a child of the devil, being a child of the devil, God rejects you, God rejects your prayers. The Bible says God does not hear the prayers of sinners. Look at yourself. Oh, who cares about that? That just reveals you're a harlot. Stop acting like a harlot. That's gross. Put your baby bottles away. You are exposing yourself. That's against the law. Yeah. Be a slave of righteousness, not a slave of sin. A slave of the light. A slave of holiness. Not a slave of the devils. Not a slave of darkness. But a slave to the truth. And Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man. No man enters the kingdom of God except through him. Except through Christ. There's no other name, friend, by which you might be saved from your sin and saved from this life and destruction that's coming and saved for his kingdom, his purposes right now. There's no other way other than Christ Jesus. You must be born again, Jesus said. And friend, the Bible says in Romans chapter 3, There's none that are righteous, not one. There's none that understand it. There's none that seeketh after God. They're all gone out of the way. They have all together become unprofitable. There's none that are good, no, not one. Their throat is an open sepulchre, an open tomb. With their tongue they use deceit, with their mouth pours forth bitterness and cursing. The poison of asp is under their lips. The poison of snakes, the poison of adders and asp is under their lips. They speak death. Destruction and misery are in the way, the way of peace they have not known. And there is no fear of God before their eyes. The Bible says to fear the Lord, that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of understanding. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not on your own understanding, and not with him in all your ways, and he will direct your path. He will direct your path. You guys are out there talking shit. I'm over here trying to get food away. Who's the asshole? You're on a crooked path, a broad way. You need that path to yeah, sure. what, what exactly do you guys like protest? We're out here to preach the word of God, lift up Jesus Christ, and all men might be drawn to him. Okay. I'm okay, already... so you, you, you're drawn over here, so we're here to tell you that you're living in sin. You're living in rebellion to God's commandments and laws and you're going to die in your, if you die in this state right now that you're in so you're going to leave here tonight die and unconfessed unforgiven sin and you haven't been born again by the spirit of god you'll spend eternity in a lake of fire so we're here we're here to warn tell you about the goodness of god which is his mercy and long suffering that he would send preachers out here to warn you that's that's god part of god's mercy uh that, that god has given you a free will He's given you a, a healthy body. He's given you a spirit. He's given you emotions. He's created you in his image. And part of his image is that you have a free will, as God has a free will. But he never chooses to do evil. There's no evil in God. God is good. He's righteous. He's holy. 
And then you have a free will to choose to do good or evil, to surrender your life to God, or to follow after the desires of your own heart. And if you continue in that way and die in your sin, you're going to spend eternity in a lake of fire. Or you can get born again, see that you have a, 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 a sinful heart, a sinful mate, you have a, a wicked heart, and that you are sinful, and that you need to have forgiveness for your sins. And then once you're forgiven for your sins, you're given a new spirit, and you're going to be born again. You follow after Jesus Christ. That's the mercy of God, that today is the day of salvation, the Bible says. That you need forgiveness for your sins, so you need to repent from your sins, turn from your sins, put your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Live out your life as God has planned you to have a, a meaningful, purposeful life in the will of God through His Son, Jesus Christ. Okay, that's so the gospel. That's why we're out here. Right, well, what if I'm already Catholic? Catholics aren't Christians. Yes, they are. It's the same for me. Well, okay. Uh, Roman Catholicism is full of idol worship. Uh, if you pray to Mary or you confess your sins to a priest, there's no forgiveness in confessing your sins to another man. So the, do the, the dogmas and doctrines of, of Catholicism is not biblical. They have uh, taken away and they've added many things that are uh, traditions of men. So I would, uh, I would encourage you to read the Bible, seek the Lord Jesus Christ, glorify Him in your life, pour the alcohol out, denounce yourself from the affiliation with the Catholic Church, and uh, serve God, man. Give him a track, bro. Track, man. Hey. Good. Good job. So we're here at New Orleans, Mardi Gras 2015, almost Fat Monday, right? And we're just talking about the reality of sin. Now, according to the Bible, sin is a Sin is a break in God's law. Can you hear me okay, brother? Audio's coming through enough? Now you gotta speak up a little bit so you can hit the, hit the audio scale there. Kind of loud out here. All right, so sin is a transgression of God's law. It's a crime against God and fellow human beings. You getting that? Yes, sir. All right, so think of a courtroom. One day, we're all gonna stand in God's courtroom whether you believe it or not. Okay, that's what the Bible says. Bible broadly asserts this by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Now, God also says in His Word that we have, we have a light. Every person has a light in us to know that there is a God. There's someone that's transcendent over us, and that we're going to give an account to one day. Now, unfortunately, most people push that idea down to their own fault. But now, think about it. God forbid if you die today and stood before Jesus, would you be guilty or innocent? Um, I guess if I have to question it, I'm pretty sure I'd be guilty. Guilty? What about you, Jordan? You'd be guilty about something. Something maybe lying or sin. Yeah. Yeah, time doesn't forgive sin, does it? I think if you ask for forgiveness over time, okay. then yes. All right, who, who do you ask to, to get forgiveness from? I guess you ask to get forgiveness from God. Anybody else? Whoever person? you, yeah, yeah, I was going to say whoever you. How about the you? person you stole from or you lied to? Jordan, in your life, Jordan, has anybody ever come up to you and said, hey, Jordan, man, will you forgive me? I did something wrong to you. Yeah, yeah. a couple times. It's a couple times. Me. But, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, that's a pretty pretty uh, powerful thing, you know, because when a person says that, they're recognizing they're guilty. Where does that guilt come from? The Bible says it comes from our conscience. The conscience also bears witness that God is true and that we're guilty. The Bible says all have sinned, all have committed crimes against God and each other, and fall short of the, or fall short of the glory of God. Okay? So that's why we need Jesus. Jesus came down, lived a perfect life without sin, in this body of flesh. We'll have to stop right here. That's all right, we'll finish up. In this body of flesh, then, then he laid down his life willingly on the cross to die for your sin, mine, yours, every person out here died for their sin. Now you would think, well, okay, if I believe in Jesus, I'm gonna get forgiven. Now, that's not enough because Jesus said you must be born again of the Holy Spirit. Okay, John chapter three. Now, how do I get that? 
Jesus said you must confess your sin to him, him alone. No other, he can't forgive your sin. You can't forgive her sin. I mean, in regards to God, you understand. You can't ask each other for forgiveness, you should. So we come to Jesus Christ, we, we beg him for forgiveness, we confess all of our sin, not to an earthly priest, but Christ. The Bible says he's the only mediator between God and mankind. So, and then once we do that, that's what happened to me 18 years ago. Holy Spirit convicted me of my sin, just like he convicted me of your sin. And, you know, well, you know what? I need Christ. I need to be saved from my sin. And I confess it, and I ask it to come, and the Holy Spirit comes and confirms in my heart that I'm actually forgiven by God. That's being born again. Now once I'm born again, I have to walk before in the Spirit, a narrow, difficult way that leads to life. And you find it, Jesus said. Most go the wide way, the wide road of sin, the wide way to destruction to hell. You know, Jesus saw more about hell than he taught about heaven. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Many, many more times about hell. Mark chapter 9 is serious. You know some of the descriptors that Jesus used for hell? Some of the descriptions of it? You think of one? Fiery. Fiery, okay, that's one. He says everlasting fire, okay. Now think about that. If somebody threw you in fire for a thousand years, that'd be pretty hard, wouldn't it? Yeah. We're not talking a thousand years. Okay, so eternal, everlasting fire. He taught it over and over again. It must be some lunatic, right? Or it's true. And if it's true, you better think about what I'm telling you. Okay, now, he also said where your worm doesn't die. Now, people think different things what that means, but I think it means your conscience. Your conscience is reminding you of this conversation. That God sent his servants to come talk to you about your sin, God's righteousness, and God's judgment to come. Very serious thing. And they call you to repentance and faith. Repentance means to turn from sin and obey and love him. Be born again in the spirit. Right, give me the way out. The Bible says today is the day of mercy. Today is the day of your salvation. You've got to receive it. It's a free gift. You've got to receive it now before you die. If you die in this sinful state that you're in right now, you'll be guilty. There'll be no forgiveness for you. We have people all the time, Brittany, tell us, well, I'll wait till judgment day to see. But God says you need to seek mercy now. If you wait till then, you can get nothing but judgment. He knows every thought, things you're doing on the inside of your heart and mind. This is really serious, isn't it? So are you, are you uh, married? Are you a couple? What's, We're just, yeah. Just a friends, couple? We're a couple. Not Are you engaged? Or you... No, sir. I'm going to ask something pretty, pretty personal. Are you ready? Are you intimate? Okay, the Bible says, this is pretty hard. The Bible says, do not be deceived. The unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. No fornicator. Fornication is sexual activity outside of marriage. You're guilty of that, but even a lie is enough to say that you need to be forgiven. And you need to be pure with each other. He wants you to come to his kingdom. Now, none of us deserve to go to the kingdom of God. Jesus promised us provision, gold streets, not streets of filth, but streets of gold. The very thing we war and fight and kill each other for in, in the kingdom of God is going to be the streets, the very least of things. Oh, hallelujah, his throne is up there, living water is coming down from that. We're drinking that, living forever, worshiping him like we should, like we should have always done anyway. Our whole lives, we should just worship God, praise Him, and thank Him for our food, right? Yeah. This is a good word for you. You want to learn more? Can you care about you? You get that, right? Let me give you something, God. Do that. Do you want to be your Bible out, compare these verses with your Bible. But before you do any Bible reading, Jordan, you need to ask God, will you show us what this means? Holy Spirit, will you teach us what this means? And then He will give you understanding. And I encourage you to stay in the New Testament for a while and maybe read the book of Genesis. And seek the Lord Jesus Christ until you're born again. Don't be satisfied with this daily life until you get the daily bread of Jesus Christ. Is that good? Okay, man. God bless you guys. Thanks.
and you are drinking violence by the cup. Your cup of iniquity is overflowed. You are getting drunk on spirits of wine. And the Bible forbids in any drunkards. God will not allow any drunkards into heaven, nor revelers, nor party goers, nor perverts, nor in that chapter, read down about four more verses, it says you hypocrite, first take the beam out of your own eye, then you can see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Oh, yeah, I, I so see. I've removed the beam from my eye, I'm following after God in holiness, I'm seeking the Lord with all my heart, now I can, now I see clearly, now I can come out here and warn you and tell you the way that you're living is not pleasing to God. Okay, well, I, I see clearly, and I, I know that we're all sinners, and... No, I, I'm not a sinner. You're not a sinner? Not anymore. You never lied before? Yes, I have. Past tense. But, but I'm not currently in, living in sin. You never had a sexual thought towards anyone ever before? No, I've had all, all those. All yeah. those are gone? Yeah, all those are gone. You just lied to me? No, you're saying present tense. I'm saying past tense. Well, I'm saying present tense. No, no, present tense, no. So, no. No. Because you sin every day, that I must. Oh, everybody oh, else must sin judging. every day. I believe in judging. Okay. Well, it, it says judge not, unless you be judged. You're not allowed to be judged. You're judging us. It says God's allowed to judge us. Right. So you're judging me. Yeah, I'm judging righteously. I'm not judging by appearance. I'm judging righteous judgment. All right. Well, I'm gonna have a drink in my hand. I'm gonna say God bless you. You have a good day. Okay. God bless you. Yeah, he, he knew he lost that one. Yeah. Is that, I'm going to run away now, in other words. All right, cougar hunters are gone, trying to preach again. No zombies will enter the kingdom of God. You two young ladies are way too young to be out here. You yes, should be you at home reading your Bible, talking about, talking about pure things, keeping yourself pure, talking about holy things, forgiving those who have wronged you. Let go of that unforgiveness you have in your heart. Ask Jesus Christ to forgive you. Much is forgiven. To much is given. Much is required. Jesus has a plan for your life. But unless you repent, you will perish. I used to do acid, but I got set free. God didn't make drugs for people to do. God hates this, this terrible party. God is not happy with you. God hates this. No, he doesn't like this party. God is calling you to repentance. God is his party. God is calling you to repentance. God is showing his pain. You see that spirit? That just start, they all start doing the same thing. You're being, you're being deceived by the devil. God has beautiful tits. The God of this world has blinded your mind. God hates Mardi Gras. God, God has double hates sin. God has double deeds. God is angry with the wicked every day. God's tits are like the best tits. You are storing up wrath oh. on the day of judgment. It's a fiery expectation. We're all sinners. And you think you're going to tell me I'm going to hell and you don't know me? I'm going to tell you without Jesus Christ forgiving you for your sins, you're going to go to hell forever. I've been forgiven for my sins. How? I was saved. By who? Come on, I was saved. Well, okay. Come on. Uh, it's your all bullshit. Your Lord is Come not on. my Lord. It's all bullshit. Spirit of Antichrist over this nation. Spirit of death fell over this nation.
Jezebel hates godly authority, righteous authority, and man's authority. St. Joseph. And you guys are all in big trouble with the holy God. You need to turn from your sins. No partiers in heaven. No partiers in heaven. Live holy through Jesus. And what did you have to say, sir? What, what about the Catholics? Go take a crap in your Duck Dynasty diaper, you SOB. This is a Roman Catholic town. Are you a Catholic? Yes, sir. Get the hell out of here. How you see you? this? Yes, sir. How long have you been a Catholic? My ancestors have been being baptized, married, and, and, and buried in this town for seven, eight generations. Get your... Get your Duck Dynasty behind the hell out of here! This is a Roman Catholic holiday. We're preparing for Lent, and we don't need you telling us what to do. You have to prove. What about the Roman Catholics? What do you have to prove? That this is a Roman Catholic town? Where the hell are you from? You redneck son of a bitch. Are you a Roman Catholic? Uh, yes, sir. I told you that. This is, is this a Roman Catholic holiday? It's a pre-Lenten preparation for a time of fasting and... and, and, and hot, 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 about the Pope Francis. Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? Where's your preacher? Where's, where's Reverend Storm, your preacher? Who the hell are you standing in judgment? What about the Pope? Who are you to judge all these What's people? The Pope? Get your dumb oh. dynasty ass out of here! Get your dumb dynasty ass out of here! Like the man said, this is a Catholic holiday. It makes sense. This is the wicked fruit of the Roman Catholic Church right here. This is the Roman Catholic Church's logical conclusion. A bunch of pagan, heathen, idol worshippers on your way to hell. And you look very nice, sir, but you're still going to hell. And God is going to condemn you unless you be born again. Are you born again? <laughs> Except you be born again. See, the Bible says the wicked love death. Did he say born the again? The Bible says the wicked love death. That's you. I love I'm, I'm death. I'm a smell of death to you, but, but Jesus is actually a smell of life. Jesus Christ offers you life, friend. All the wicked things you've ever done, you could be forgiven. You could be forgiven if you'll confess and repent your sin. If you'll confess and turn from your wicked ways, Jesus Christ is willing to forgive you. But that's the condition. If you don't turn from your drunk this, guess what? Jesus won't forgive you. Jesus will not forgive you if you do not repent from your sin. It's as simple as that. The Bible says... Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Work, meet for repentance. Is that your wife? No, okay. Work, meet, you know, works, meet for repentance. What you need to do. Every person on this earth will be judged by my king. Jesus Christ is my Lord and king and savior. Jesus Christ came to save his people from their sin. You people aren't saved from your sin. Excuse me. I'm married. Thank you. Happily married. Excuse me. a sinner could say is excuse me when they run you over with a bike. Probably. You should. I mean, if I ran into you with a bike, I'd say, at least say excuse me. I'm saying excuse me to you. <laughs> yeah, the wicked love death. The wicked love partying. How many people love parties out here? One. Just one? No. Every one of you out here living in sin love your party. But the Bible says Partiers will not inherit the kingdom of God. There's the evidence against you. Jesus is a liberal Democrat. He is a Democrat. He votes liberal. No, Jesus sir. votes liberal. Jesus he doesn't vote conservative. Jesus is the king. He's going to command. He commands you now. Repent, sinner. You lost of your sin. God, no, no, man. You're lost. I found. You're the one that's lost. You're in deep trouble with God. Jesus is the king. You know Jesus loves Obama. Jesus loves Obama. Jesus loves Obama. Jesus loves socialized medicine. God also hates all sinners.
He loves sinners. That's why he forgives them. That's why he forgives them. That's why he loves them. Why would he hate followers love? Do you not see your own hypocrisy? Are you so ignorant to understand your Two ignorance to understand one's own hypocrisy. 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 Amen. Jesus, 
Yes, that's right. Read the back support. You email me if you got questions. Thank God. Thank, Thank God. God. You, got you guys prayed for us already today. Go, dear God. Dear God. Sisters of mercy, sisters of no mercy. I get that. Are you the answer to ISIS, sirs? Sirs, are you the answer to the ISIS threat to our country? You're looking for him? Okay, it doesn't surprise me at all. I don't know. I probably don't want to know. This man said Jesus not could have made, but he did make the wood that was used to make the cross that he was crucified on. Yeah, he was crucified by his own creation. Uh, because men, Jesus says men love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. But before that, he said light is coming to the world, but they love the darkness. They love the darkness because your deed, your deeds are evil. So you reject Jesus Christ. Wow. We, we don't have evil deeds. We're just evil. Just a jester. That's a jester. Yeah. I thought he fell. I did too. Wow, look at him. Look at that. <laughs> You're not going to troll me. As you see, John just got attacked, and uh, John just got attacked, 
and that guy is uh, still still running around and I'm from Baton Rouge. You're from Baton Rouge? Yeah. Oh, really? Okay, cool. I'm from New Orleans. Okay. What's your name? Um, that's not important. It's just running. So there's like no cool events in Baton Rouge you can disrupt with your hateful crap. There you are. There you are. That's what I was looking for. Hey, he's right here. We got video of the back of this guy right here. Right here. Right there. Yeah. Bryce here with me. Uh, Bryce, let me give you these first. First Corinthians 6, 9, 10 says, Do not be deceived, Bryce. What does it say, Bryce? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do not be deceived. The unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. Neither fornicators, idolaters, adulterers, homosexuals, sodomites, drunkards shall inherit the kingdom of God. And Bryce, God forbid you die today in your drunkenness and you go to hell for your drunkenness. God is impartial, Bryce. He's not going to overlook your sin because you say you're following Christ. Seriously. I've been drunk for 23 years. How old are you? I was a drunkard long than you, longer than you've been alive, man. I've been a Christian for 18 years. Yeah, I want to share my faith because I want I want to see you delivered from that. This is serious. It's a big deal, man. Jesus died for you. He went on the cross. Okay? I want you to turn. I command you to turn and live. Deal with this one verse, Bryce. You ready? Yeah. Away to righteousness and do not sin. Been out in the street one day with my Bible in my hand Tracks in my pocket, I was prayed up and I ran into this man I said, hey sir, would you come over here? I got something to say if you'll lend me your ear Don't walk away, this could be your day Well, have you been, have you been born again, born again now, Have you been free from your sin? Now, have you been Holy Ghost, have you been born again? I remember way back when I was dead in my sin. I was blind, I could not see, lost and so deceived. Then somebody told me about Jesus, life divine and forgiveness of sin. But they said, hey, you got to be born again. Well, now I've been, now I've been born again, born again. Now I've been, I've been free from my sin. Now I've been filled with that mighty Holy Ghost. Now I've been born again. So have you been, have you been born again, born again? Have you been, have you been free from your sin? Have you been, have you been born again, born again? Have you been, ever been free from your sin? Have you been?